Poetry Channel. Today, I'm going to be um, using all of my coloring, drawing, Christmas presents, anything like that. Like, I'm going to draw in my sketchbook. I can only use the colored pencil, watercolor, all the things like that that I got. Cannot use anything else. Um, so, first thing we got this Taylor Swift limited edition merch. Keep in mind, that was only out for 24 hours, so. Mm hmm. Okay. Now, my coloring things that I can actually use. Okay. I have these Prismacolor colored pencils. Looking good. Got a nice watercolor set. 36 colors in there. I've actually used that. Right there for that. I think it looks pretty good. Looks better off cam. But that. We've got more colored pencils. We got the XL watercolor um, sketchbook. Two black sketchbooks. One, two. One, two. So. That'll be nice. This is what I'm gonna have to sketch with. Just some mechanical pencils, but I think that's fine. I have this Crayola um, washable project paint. Six colors I can use that. And I also got the caddy. So basically, there's this is the caddy part. So. I have um, four brushes on the side, four brushes on the side. I have sponges, brushes, some paint, a bunch of things like that in here. In here, I just have paint uh, and some brushes. Just a couple brushes and stuff in that crack. Um, so that's what I can use. Um, also, let's try to get this video to... 10 likes, and if you're new, make sure to press that like button and subscribe to support the channel, and uh, I'm going to start drawing the layout. This will probably be a time lapse. I figured out all the supplies I'm going to use. Um, the supplies I'm not using is the second black sketchbook. The second box sketchbook, the XL watercolor sketchbook, um, and none of the paint because I, I just don't really like using paint today. This will be a time lapse. I'm gonna start sketching out the picture, um, and uh, I'll get back to you when I'm done. Okay, I have um, finished the sketch. Not really much of a sketch because most of this is coloring. But um, this is what I have so far. Probably can't see it, but I'll line right there. Dots. You really cannot pick anything up. It's just really late, so I have. Um, there's gonna be a sunset. Stars like it's in the night sky and then some um graph in the bottom. I think I'm gonna start with the colored pencils and then go over it with the watercolor maybe. So I'm thinking about the color scheme. I think I'm gonna do the stars black. Um do the background white, then do the sun like red, orange, yellow, and then like pinks and blues. I'm just yeah, I don't know. Um, so I would have just cut
colored it fast and not in a time lapse, but uh, I think this is going to take a long time, so uh, time lapse. So I was going to do colored pencil and then go over with <coughs> watercolor, but I think I'm just going to do watercolor. Because when you use colored pencil, color doesn't really mix well. Um, so I'm just gonna get the watercolor because I think that will really work better. Um, this watercolor set, highly recommended. Highly recommended um, <coughs> because it is so nice and inside. <coughs> this is my second time. It's really only my second time using it. But mine. It comes with these cool water pens. These things are so cool to work with because you fill in this bottom part with water. Then, um, to get it to work, you have to just kind of squeeze right here. But then, it comes out, and you brush on whatever color you want. And then you paint it on just like normal watercolor. It also comes with a normal brush if you don't want the pen. Back to time lapse. So, uh, yeah. The last color I used on this was black. So, the brush is literally black with a little bit of white pen. The watercolor is actually going over the color pencils really well, which is super surprising because I thought um, there would just be a bunch of um, this paint and a little texture. Actually, no. Um, there's not, so I'm super surprised. And I like this watercolor shirt so much. Another thing I like about this set is it comes with a white. So it's pretty much like the colorless blender just with watercolor. The colors already blend really, really well. done with this one, then I'm just going to do this other one, um, pretty much on the last color. I think this is going to come out really good, even though I'm limited, probably just because how good this watercolor thing is. I think when I add the stars, this whole, and the graph on the bottom, th this whole picture will look really good. So I'm going to start adding the stars. I got a little sponge that was in my um, caddy pack. Um, so I'm going to try to pick up some of the black places I got in the sun that I didn't want them to. This is my one shuffle oh my god. To the left, to the right, to the left, to the left, to the right, to the right. To the left, to the right. Now I'm working on the grass and this tip is like a big tip. It's a big tip. Um, so doing grass is probably going to be Oh, hard, but I think I can pull it off. I'm gonna go back to the sun and use white, like the color of the blender, and get the things that's gonna really make the sun look really good. On the dark colors on the sun, that's really lightening them up, and it's really making the sun look really, really good. This 
Find is actually really useful. Really did not think it would be. This is really adding to the grass. I think it's going to end up looking really, really good. I'm almost done. I can see the finish line. This is Set a timer for five seconds. I have five seconds left. Five seconds. Starting now. Alexa, stop. Okay, so after that, after a couple minutes of painting and drawing, this is what I came up with. First, let me get the light. That's um fine. So, so I'm making YouTube real quick. Cool. One second. Okay. Um. Now cue the montage music. this video today. New tripod action. Hope you enjoyed it all. And uh, until next time. <laughs>